remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? If you know me, you know that the Peanuts is my all-time favorite comic strip cartoon. So when I saw it trending today on social media, I could not help but click on there and see what was going on. Turns out the character Snoopy, the little dog, was trending because of a post on Twitter from the official Peanuts account. The photo, which was meant to convey interracial friendship in honor of Black History Month, depicted Charlie Brown alongside Franklin, the first black character in the Peanuts series. In the picture, Charlie Brown says to Franklin, you're one of the good ones. Of course, this sparked immediate outrage. People went in on Charlie Brown, went in on Snoopy, went in on the Peanuts and anybody who didn't like it. And it prompted the Peanuts account to issue a statement that read, earlier today, a tweet from this account Featuring an image of two friends was misinterpreted, as this was not the intended message of the post. It has been deleted so as not to perpetuate an inaccurate interpretation. The post was meant as a celebration of friendship. Come on, man. You know what time it is. Ain't no way y'all put that post up and thought to yourself, this is what friendship is about. Y'all knew exactly what you were doing. I hope that the estate, the Peanuts estate, doesn't have, well, actually, that would be Charles. It's Charles. I'm, I'm thinking of the owner, who, uh, the creator. Did he, did he sell the, the Peanuts? In any event, whoever is in control of the, the Peanuts estate, I hope they didn't co-sign this. Now, the thing about social media family is that these companies hire people to run their social media. So you know that the ownership at Popeye's didn't come up with that war that they had, Twitter beef they had with, who was that? Popeye's was beefing with Wendy's. <laughs> Tore them up too. Popeyes, I need to hire Popeyes, their, uh, their account manager. Whoever it is, boy, very crafty person. Uh, and clapback is off the chain. Now, of course, the brands hire people, you know, with the idea that these people are going to represent their brand the way that they want to, that, in a way that's consistent with the brand's image, right? So there is a little gray area there, but I'm, I'm not quite ready to believe that the Peanuts, the, the owner of the franchise would be that stupid to co-sign something like that. This could have easily been a rogue employee. You know, a lot of these employees, when they're on their way out, they'll do something to sabotage the company. So that's also plausible. I'm willing to give them the benefit of doubt. I'm talking about the ownership, not the person who put the post out. The person who put the post up knew exactly what they were doing. I can guarantee you this. They knew exactly what that you're one of the good ones mean. And that was funny to them. So Instead of just complaining, there needs to be a follow through, follow up, follow through, and whoever did it, heads need to roll because it was guaranteed to be intentional. Charlie Brown, you're out of pocket on this one. You're out of pocket. Man, I'm, I'm mad because they're ruining my image of Charlie Brown and the Peanuts. You know, we just got, you know, every year for Thanksgiving, we have to relive this whole uh, Franklin uh, 
lawn chair seat. And we got to relive that every single year where he sits at the table in a lawn chair and everybody else is sitting in a nice chair. I'm asking y'all nicely, please do not ruin my childhood memories of Charlie Brown and the Peanuts. I'm asking you. You're moving into some dangerous territories here now. Got me over here thinking, what's next? Franklin, a Trump supporter? Oh, man. Oh, man. Why did I say that? Why did I put that idea out there? You got some people that say, well, black people are too sensitive. They're just too sensitive. Why are you guys so sensitive? I don't think that black people are sensitive enough sometimes. And if black people are too sensitive, maybe, just maybe, it has something to do with that little thing called institutional racism for over four centuries. And the lingering repercussions stemming from it. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.